Hey guys, this is a tutorial video I'm making for you so you know how to remove a virus in six different ways. And this video is just going to show you step by step of how I do things to get rid of a virus. And hopefully, this will resolve your virus problem. If you ever come across one, whether it be a Trojan or spyware, it doesn't really matter. This should fix up any virus problem. And if for some reason you find something that I say is confusing or you don't know what I'm saying, please just leave a comment below and ask me and I'll contact you ASAP about it. And yeah, alright, first step that we'll be doing is, well everyone would know what the first step would be. If you already have an antivirus scanner on here, you do a virus scan and you just go scan now and it'll start searching for your computer and um, that's the normal way that everyone knows that's the first step you should usually take um, but if your virus um, has already infected your computer badly and you already have an antivirus on there then the next step you should do is go to safe mode on your computer there are two ways you can do that you can either um, go to safe mode by force shutting your computer, which I don't really recommend you doing it. And or you can um, boot up your computer and just keep pressing F8 um, to go into the safe mode settings. Sometimes it may take you a few attempts before you actually get that. And I'll be getting to you um, about now. And I'll be also explaining why I've got two different antivirus scanners on here. I use this one uh, for normal antivirus scanning and this one here um, for scanning viruses in safe mode and I'll explain why shortly. Um, so yeah, oh hang on I'll just go out into my other camera view so you know what I'm talking about. Okay we're now about to boot up the computer into safe mode and all you just do really to do it, you just press F8. You might need to press it a few times. And there you go. It should come up with something like that. And you want to choose, you can either choose safe mode with networking or choose normal safe mode. The difference between them is that networking has just has an internet connection, so it's probably better to go with that. And this will go take about 30 seconds or so to load up through this. And because the reason why you go in um, safe mode in the first place to get rid of a virus if it's badly infected on your system files is because viruses don't run on safe mode because um, they're not written to run in safe mode. And this is the whole reason why um, the next steps I'm showing you. Um, is done in safe mode because um, if your virus is like controlling your whole computer on normal mode then you might need to do it in safe mode if, um, if you can't do anything so here we go it's starting to load up now and what you do um, this usually works with any antivirus scanner you just go to where your antivirus scanner is and you go um, click on fall and you go scan now and it will start scanning for your computer for viruses um, as usual as you do in normal mode except that the virus won't interfere with what you're doing on safe mode um, and that's the second step that I just showed you the third step is going to be on safe mode again um, this is for people who didn't have an antivirus scanner to begin with and you should download an antivirus scanner called anti-malware anti-malware bytes um, or another or people just call it by short malware bytes and you just open that up mine just needs to be updated that's why that came up and you just go f um, full scan well first of all, um, this virus scan, if you're wondering, is free to get. I'll have the link in the description for you so you can get it. And the reason why 
I chose this virus scanner to um, be downloaded for safe mode um, is because if your computer is so badly infected with a virus that it doesn't even let you control anything on normal mode um, and you go into safe mode, the problem is it most likely won't install the current antivirus scanner you have because safe mode is not designed to install antivirus scanners. So, um, but this antivirus scanner though, um, Malwarebytes, it lets you install it on safe mode and that's the whole reason why I've chose this one for step three for people who don't have an antivirus scanner and plus it's really good to use as well for um, getting rid of viruses and so um, if um, since I've chosen safe mode networking mode I can just go on the internet here make sure it has to be networking mode and then you can just download um, the virus scanner. I'm just going to Google it. And it should come up on the top there. And there you go. Um, you can just download it and then you can just install it from there. And then you should be able to have any prompts after you've done a full antivirus scan on it. Make sure when you do a full virus scan on this one you select all drives on it just to make sure everything is clean and then you go scan and then it will wipe everything off and um, by then your virus problem should most likely be fixed if your virus problem is already fixed already um, I suggest you maybe stop wa watching this video now as the next three steps aren't really needed to um, know to get rid of viruses but if you want to know how to um, do um, other alternatives then just keep watching alright the next thing I'll be showing you how to get rid of virus this is step 4 now is getting rid of a virus using command prompt and as you can see I've already put it in my um, taskbar down the bottom you can always just search up in your thing by, by typing in cmd and um, command prompt should come up there. It's probably best if you um, right click on it and select run as administrator just so that it gives you the full privilege, like give you all the privileges to use it. And what you do from here is first of all you want to type in um, where like you think the virus may be. This is the first problem you'll probably come across. You're not sure where the virus is going to be so if to move around in directories you type in the command code cd dot dot and as you can see it takes me to different directories and that much just in my C drive now since I put out of that. Um, most of the time though viruses tend to go into your Windows system 32 folder so what you want to do is type in cd windows enter CD system 32 and it's in your system 32 folder now and then after that um, if you type in the command code dir it will show all of your system 32 folders but we don't want to know all that because we won't be able to read every single file that's in there so what you want to do instead I'll just quit out of this what you want to do instead is um, you type in the command code I'll just go back to my system32 folders again Windows Oops. Windows System 32. All right, I'm back in here again, and you type in the command code instead of just dir on its own. You type in dir slash ah like that. There's a space in between it there, and then it will just come up with that, and it can come up possible infected files. And if you know what this, unfortunately though, to find out the to pinpoint you um, virus. Um, file name you have to do the research yourself unfortunately because 
di viruses are different from each other. But if you already know what the virus name is, what you do, you type in Notepad, and then if it's, and then you type in here. I'm just going to make a little example here. Just go C colon backslash. Um, then you type in the virus name. So whatever the virus name may be, you just type in there. And then you um, type in either I and F or .ex for executable file, because that's the files that viruses tend to um, infect. And, um, and then after that, um, when you press enter, it will come up with a notepad thing it will come up with all the virus codes and if you if it comes up with that then you've known you've selected the right file um, and if you have come across the right file the next code you want to type in to unlock the virus to delete it because you have to do this before you delete the virus you type in the a trib command code so you type in a trib dash s space dash h space and you type in your um you type in your virus name again. Hang on, I just did something wrong there. Don't ignore that. You type in your um trib H and then you type in um your virus name again. Um, virus name. Of course, the virus is not going to be called virus name. I'm just putting it there just to show you an example. And then you put in slash s and slash d and press enter and it will unlock the file. And once the file is unlocked, you type in DLL for the delete code and then whatever the virus name is and then you put in slash F space slash F sorry and enter and that should delete your virus if the problem doing this way though is that it won't guarantee to get rid of all of your virus as it can as a virus can copy itself to anywhere in your computer. So step four in this video is not going to be a guaranteed way to get rid of your virus, but it is a way of getting the main infected files. Um, and it can be an alternative um, for certain different things as well to fix up things. So yeah, uh, that was step four. Okay. The next step I'm going to be showing you is I'm going to be using a disc called Horan Boot CD, which I'll show you in the minute. I'll just stop calling there and I'll show you what I. Okay, now I'm, this is step five I'm going to be showing you now, which is um, removing the virus of um, a program called Horan's Boot CD. It's a really good thing to have. Um, for getting rid of virus prompts as well, but you usually don't have to worry about getting this program because safe mode usually does does the trick anyway to get rid of your virus problem. But in case you're interested in getting this thing, um, what you do, you first of all either buy the program or find a download of it somewhere on the net. Um, it changes all the time where you get this program from because it keeps updating itself. I've got Horan's Boot CD 11.1, .1. that's the latest version that's out at the moment I think, but it changes all the time. Try to get the latest version if you can, um, as it has more features and it works better. Um, what you do, if you're downloading the program, just put it, burn it to a disc or put it on a bootable USB, it doesn't really matter, and put it in your disk drive. And then after that, you want to restart your computer. So I'm just going to restart it. And when your um, DOS comes up, 
um, you want to press F8 or whatever your um, button is to um, boot from your CD drive. It usually tells you anyway what button you have to press to access that on your DOS. So it's about to come up. And here we are, press F8. And here you are, it gives you a choice what you want to boot from. If you do it from a CD, you want to select CD ROM or DVD ROM. Um, it depends really what type of DVD player you've got. And if you boot it from USB, you want to select USB drive. Um, so, but since I got the CD version, I want to boot from my CD. And something like this should come up. It will give you a list of things what you want to do on this disc. And it has all the types of tools what you can do with your um, DOS, your BIOS, and fix up virus problems and all that. What I'm going to be showing you, you go to, I find that going to mini XP mode work is the best and easiest way for me to do it. So I'm going to go with that. And this your computer will start loading up files for Windows XP. With this Windows XP, you can't use um, the internet or any other program with it. It's only like a mini version, That's hence the reason why it's called Mini XP. Because all it has on this um, version is um, a few tools to fix up your virus problems and all that. It can be also be used to back up things from it as well in case your computer files have gone really bad as well, which is good. Alright, now it's booting up in Mini XP mode. Um, the program you want to select next um, is this little program here. You select that and a little menu will come up. Um, or you can go to check disk and it has all these other programs in here that you can um, use. Um, but the one, if you fix up viruses, that's generally the one you go to. So you go to that and then from there you should be able to find all sorts of virus options to fix up um, your computer. Um, if you have any questions how to use it, ask me um, on the comments below. But like I said before, you usually don't have to worry about getting this problem to begin with as safe mode usually fixes up your virus problem. All right. And um, I think I'll be moving on to step six in a moment and show you how to do it. Right. The next thing I'm going to be showing you is um, if everything else you've tried has failed and you could not get your virus problem at all, which will highly likely unhappen because everything I just showed you earlier on in this video um, should fix fix up your virus problem well and truly. You usually only have to go up to step three in my video in order to get your virus problem fixed, but just in case everything else has failed and you've tried absolutely everything you've could, including everything I've shown you in this video, then unfortunately the only way you'll have to fix that up is reinstall Windows on it. And as you can see, here's my Windows 7 disk. You just put that in and you do the same thing again, you press F8 to go into your boot device menu and you go from CD, your CV, CD or DVD ROM drive to boot um, Windows 7 on and just reinstall it and all that. And then you go from there and you just choose what settings you want. And yeah, and that's pretty much it, that was step six. Um, please rate um, please um, let me know how well this video has helped you out and like I said just leave a comment below if you find any of the stuff I showed you confusing but generally um, usually you don't have to worry about steps 4, 5 and 6 that I showed you um, but just in case um, steps 1, 2 and 3 didn't work for you the three basic steps that should have fixed up your virus problem ages ago um, you can always just give these a try and if you have a problem 
with using steps four, five, or six, just let me know. And that's it. That's another one of my tutorial videos. Please stay around. I might be making more um, tutorials on other things later on. And um, if you want me to make a tutorial for something relating to some kind of computer problem or or anything, just um, place a comment below and I'll be happy to acknowledge it. And I'll see you guys later.